Hi, everyone, and welcome back for week five of Accessible Learning with Technology. And this week, we are going to continue our look at how to overcome some of those accessibility barriers that we've been discussing earlier on in the course. This week, we're going to be taking a look at Universal Design for Learning, which was formerly uh, sometimes referred to as a universal instructional design. So we're just going to use the one term going forward just to keep things straight, and we'll use universal design for learning or UDL. If you look at our resources for the week, uh, I have uh, a standard graphic in here that's used to, uh, to illustrate what uh, the domains of UDL are, multiple means of engagement, of representation, and of action and expression. I've got, a, again, a varied uh, resource list for you to help you dive into what UDL is and what it isn't, uh, taking a look at uh, the difference between UDL and differentiated learning. They're definitely not the same thing. And I have a few uh, shorter and longer reads for you uh, so that you can take a, a deeper dive into uh, the concepts of UDL. I've also got a couple of longer videos uh, here for you. These are recordings of presentations that a couple of my colleagues from Cape Breton University gave for another course of mine in October 2023, uh, they uh, gave these presentations to some advanced instructional design uh, students from another institution. And uh, they have graciously allowed me to chop up and reuse the footage of those presentations. So Dr. Lynn Levette talks about uh, engaging all abilities in your inclusive classroom. And uh, Dr. Uh, Melissa Bishop, who is an alum from Ontario Tech University, uh, by the way, uh, and now works at Cape Breton University. She talks about UDL in virtual learning environments. In our class this week, we're going to take uh, a look at uh, what UDL is and what UDL isn't. You're even going to have a chance in one of your breakout activities to critique me and my design for this course and how well you think I have integrated the principles of UDL and maybe even make some recommendations as to what we could incorporate for the next time around when this course is offered. Looking forward to seeing you all in class.